this lesson we will be discussing icing and how it pertains to aviation in general and the T6 in specific. In aviation there are three main types of icing, clear, rime, and mixed. Clear ice, also known as glazed ice, is probably the most dangerous kind of icing, typically found between 2 and negative 10 degrees Celsius and visible moisture. Rime ice, which is milky and opaque in appearance, usually forms between negative 15 and negative 20 degrees Celsius with visible moisture. And finally, mixed ice, which is simply a combination of clear and rime in random order, usually found between negative 10 and negative 15 degrees Celsius in visible moisture. Now that we've covered general icing, let's discuss how icing affects the T6. While anyone who has been to ground school can tell you the T6 is rated for 5,000 feet of light rime icing, this is only part of the story. As you can see from these excerpts from Chapter 5 of the Natops Manual, while it is indeed true that the T6 is rated for 5,000 feet of light rime icing, it is only for transit purposes. Sustained operation in icing, be it light rime or any other, is prohibited. Furthermore, if icing is encountered, as you can see, there are several limitations that become active. If icing is encountered, the crew must ensure that the probe's anti-ice switch is turned on and initiate either a climb or descent to evacuate the icing layer. The next limitation is on aerobatics and maneuvering. With any ice accumulation, the T6 is prohibited from any aerobatics and is limited to 30 degrees of bank angle and 0 to 2 g's of normal acceleration. And lastly, the landing pattern. With any ice accumulation, approach speeds must be increased by 10 knots to ensure a safe landing. This concludes structural icing. For further information on icing, I recommend checking out these references. If you enjoyed this video or found it informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you didn't, or if there's something you found inaccurate or incomplete, please leave a comment. And finally, if there are any topics you would like to see covered, either leave a comment or send me an email at sweetycraft at gmail.com.